Hi, I'm Mia Easyley, and welcome to a little sewing tutorial, Devil in the Details. Today, I'm going to be taking you on a journey to make a cute little bat wing. You can make any shape, and I'm going to show you how to make cute little accessories for your outfits. First, pick your fabric. Today, I'm using a two-way stretch PVC. Going onto the wrong side of the fabric, you're going to be placing your pattern down of whatever shape you've decided to use, and you're going to mark it down with chalk. When you cut around this, make sure to use your scissors to cut just outside of that line. The next step is to go and grab some batting. I'm using two layers of this, one for each side of the bat wing, and I'm going to be cutting out the bat piece to the exact measurement of the pattern. Then, I'm going to be grabbing each piece, starting with the right side, the wrong side, and then putting the batting on top. When I stitch this, I'm going to be using a straight stitch, which is one on my machine, and I'm going to be using that to stitch on the lines, following and connecting all of the pieces together. When you're stitching this, if you're going around a corner, you want to make sure that at the edges, you back stitch, lift your foot, turn, and then continue on stitching to make sure to secure it. Our next step is to cut off all of the excess. When you're going around corners, make sure to clip just at the tip as close as you possibly can, and then clip around the edges as close as you can from the tip. You can go out a little bit around the corners, but make sure that the tips and the edges are as close to as possible in order to get the nicest, cleanest little points. Now it's time to flip this inside out. I'm gonna be going inside of both of the PVC layers so that the PVC insides and the batting is going on the inside of the fabric. Now all I can really say is good luck when you do this. If you have some tools, you can use something like a point turner. Um, it gets quite annoying and honestly, just good luck. If you wanna make your points a little bit more crisp, you can take any old household object that's got a point to it and trying to use that. If you have access to it, I like to use a point turner. It'll help to make sure that all of your edges are nice and crisp, clean, and pointy. I go in with it to try to get the pieces out. If needed, I'll take a pin and I'll go and I'll finish cleaning that edge. Not recorded, but I went over and I made sure to iron this. I did use a piece of cotton to try to cover it and keep it from messing with the machine. Now this fabric, a little quick tip, is PVC. And unless you have a walking foot, it's going to cause the fabric to get all cut, bunched, and gross. So if you want a quick tip, it's a little annoying, but you can use a thin piece of tissue to help to sew your fabric together. And I'm gonna be using that because when you sew on the outsides of PVC, it gets stuck and it's gross and nobody likes it. So use a piece of tissue to help to keep the fabric going through nice, clean, and easy. When you're done, you can simply peel off the tissue paper and either use a little bit of water or just cry your way into getting it off. The one thing I love the most is the walking foot. If you have $30 or more to spend, this thing is magic. It'll make sure to feed the fabric through the bottom of the machine and the top of the machine, making PVC and other annoying fabrics easier to sew. Now it's time to make sure to add the detail. I'm sewing from the top part of the bat wing down to each part of the wings to give it a nice little bone looking effect. I'm just top stitching with a straight stitch. Thank you for watching. Make sure to follow me on all social medias, M-I-A-E-Z-L-A-Y, and have a good day.